Before we jump into it, today's video is proudly sponsored by Gills Fly Fishing International. For more information on this adventure and many others, check out the links in the description below. guys welcome back to another video right now we're in the jungles of Guyana this is our base camp for the next two weeks today's video is pretty much just gonna be showing you a few more of the species that we uh, we get to connect with in this trip to Guyana I know last year I uploaded a little clip about our peacock bass but this year I kind of wanted to highlight a few more of the species that uh, we get the chance to tie in with what do we got here Terry what are you working on um, paka. what's that now Laba. Yep, big rubber. Yeah. So the operation that we were staying with, they had a generator that we could use to charge all of our batteries, our phones, and um, it also gave us power to run a water pump for the shower, so that was pretty cool. We can't forget about the Royal Throne either. Pretty primitive, but got the job done. So yeah, this is our run up to the Corona Falls and one of the spots we stop at is a pretty decent peacock bass spot with, um, you know, a couple other species mixed in, but the main focus is obviously peacock bass. So yeah, we were chugging along some streamers and some poppers. Obviously these fish are super, super aggressive in both subsurface and top water, which is pretty awesome. So here's a few bites that we got um, from that little, uh, little session of peacock bass. Oh, just got smoked. Yeah. For sure, peacock. Double. Double up. It's a nice peacock. Oh. Oh, jeez. Frisky. Perfect. First peacock of the trip. Done deal. Sweet boys. Thank you, Jules. Beautiful. Archer is on a nice one. So we worked down the pond a little bit and I ended up switching over to a popper and got some good plugs along and finally got demolished on my first topwater peacock of the trip. Oh, that was huge, huge. Oh my goodness. On the left side, cat. Oh, that's a big peacock. Holy moly. These peacocks that we are catching today were our lunch fish. Yeah, so we needed to catch, you know, at least six fish, you know, half a fish per guy, and that'll feed us pretty nicely for the day. Gator right there, little guy, four footer. Now we're getting through some rapids here. So we ended up stopping at this little rock island in the middle of the river and ended up getting into some lunch. You guys did a little bit of bow fishing with uh, no success, but uh, and we also caught a couple of peacocks, so that was cool. Beautiful peacock bass. Look at that spot. 
beautiful. Unbelievable. There he goes. Grab my fly box and let's keep on moving. We made it to the Corona Falls where we had to set up our second base camp, all our uh, covers, kitchen area and all that. Yeah. Pretty neat to watch it all kind of come together. I would say probably the best tasting watermelon and fruits I've ever had in my entire life would be at these campsites. The watermelon was spectacular, it was so sweet, it was surreal how good it was. <laughs> So the next day we uh, woke up, waddled our way down to the main <laughs> camp area where we had our breakfast. We had some nice bakes and bake. some scrambled eggs. And that started the day off just right and by that time we had uh, packed up all our rods and headed up to the Corona Falls where we started off our fishing. And I started off with a couple of streamers on the 8 weight. I had to cycle through a couple of flies. I'd seen fish rising, couldn't quite get them to connect. But um, after switching, you know, flies two or three times, I found this one that was bright orange, black, and kind of looked like a bit of a piranha pattern. And it connected with a awesome swordfish, probably the biggest of the trip for me. Got him. Oh, big sword, big sword, big sword, big sword, big sword, big sword, swordfish! Holy, oh! Big swordfish, big swordfish, big swordfish, big. Oh, big dancer, big dancer. I'm gonna try to bring him around maybe to the other side. Oh no, don't go back in the current. No, I'm back in the current, buddy. It's a big sword, awesome. Come on, come on. Work with me, work with me. Still got so much energy, oh my goodness. Oh. Big sword, <laughs> so sick. Big sword, oh my goodness. Look at this majestic thing. Oh wow. He's, he's got the little adipose too, eh? It's almost like steelhead. Okay, hooks out. <laughs> Very cool. He's pretty ready to go. <laughs> wow. So cool. <laughs> okay. So I ended up taking a seat after that fish, waited for the boys to uh, finish up their shenanigans up at the falls, and we headed downstream for some catfish bait. We're gonna do some catfishing in the afternoon. Got to our spot where we can catch some catfish. Archer's first on the on the rod. Go heat. Nice. Oh, big tiger. <laughs> nice. Boom. Here we go. <laughs> Is there a barb on the top one there? No. There's no barbs on this one? No. no barbs, yeah, but it's not the barb. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay. Nice. 
So we ended up going back up to the campsite for a few hours. The boys prepared the catfish and then we went down a couple of runs to a hole that usually shows well for Paku and a couple of other species. And we ended up catching some piranha and I ended up getting tight on my first paella of the trip. Big fire. Wow. It's a good one. Whoa, whoa. He's going down. Paera, big one. Yeah. Yeah. Full page, Boom. I don't want to go too crazy. Beautiful. Oh. So the day after that, we ended up uh, chasing the same same couple of species, our catfish, our paku, and uh, whatever else we could find. And we ended up uh, <laughs> we ended up finding a good pack of paku in one hole. And Jules grabbed the bow and arrow and got an arrow on a Paku and we ended up having Paku for dinner. So that was pretty cool. The rest of the trip for me after we left from Corona Falls and headed back south was pretty much a few more shots at peacock bass. Oh wow. Oh boy. Some amazing wildlife sightings. I even got a shot at those jungle river monsters they call Arapaima. To no avail, unfortunately. I wasn't able to connect and stick that hook the way I wanted it. <laughs> but still, such an amazing experience to be able to pursue and move a fish of that magnitude. It really is something else. Oh. What the fuck? Well, another fly fishing adventure to the jungles of Guyana has come and gone can't thank Fly Fishing International enough for setting this up and taking me out there to capture these amazing moments uh, to be able to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this isn't the, uh, the norm. I know I uploaded a little clip last year, but uh, I figured I'd kind of show you a few more species that we, uh, we get to connect with. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we will catch you guys in the next clip. Take it easy.